So I want to do something different today. I would love to show more day in the lives at Audible, and I probably will in the future. But the thing is, I can't actually show any of the details of the work that I do there, any of the projects or how we do anything. That's why today I want to start a new side project and bring you with me on how I start a new project and just how I'm going to go about it in 2024. The last time I actually made a side project was a very long time ago. I'm going to be completely honest. I want to continue learning new things. And so that's why this weekend I want to explore something new and take you with me on that journey. I have an idea of what I want to make. I'm going to go to a coffee shop just to get it off the ground. Let's do this thing. Let's go. Honestly, working in a coffee shop is OP. Something about it makes you focus better. It might seem counterintuitive to like leave behind like our whole setup. Like at home I have like my split keyboard and like my nice monitor and everything. But I don't know, just working in a public place really makes you focus harder. If you're having trouble working, then I really recommend going to a coffee shop. In general, I would say that there are two ways of approaching side projects. The first approach is to use the project as a way to learn something new. For example, if you're trying to build a website, simply the process of building the website, you will learn many different things. You can easily look up tutorials for any new thing that you're trying to learn. And I actually think it's really important to look at these tutorials at the beginning because a lot of times these new concepts that you're exposed to have these building blocks that you're not comfortable with and that they're necessary for the project. And I think the first couple times when you're doing it, you're gonna need to hold someone's hand along the way. For example, I'm starting a Kotlin and Compose multi-platform project. This is something that I've never done before and it really helps to have tutorials for that. The second approach to making projects is just immediately jumping in and trying to create something of value that you can publish into the world. So for example, if you've already made a couple of apps, maybe you can actually try to take it to the next level. So now you're trying to make something that can be used by people. For me, I'm in that first bucket today, as I explained earlier, and I'm hoping to eventually get to the second with this project. Once you've decided which approach to take, there are a couple of other steps I like to do when I'm starting anything new. So first, coming up with an idea that you're interested in. This can be literally anything that you want. I think especially in today's day and age, people are making apps that are extremely good at one thing and people are willing to pay money for it. The important part is you truly have to be excited about the idea. If you're not at least a little bit excited, you're not gonna be motivated to work on it for longer than a couple of days. So what exactly am I making? The purpose of the app is to solve a problem that I've been having a really long time and I don't think I can live with this problem any longer. The idea is I want to make an app that will predict the next restaurant that my girlfriend would want to eat at. I think we've all been there. You're with a group of friends or you're with your family or significant other. You're doing this game back and forth and you're cycling through all the restaurants that you regularly go to. The point is of the places that you already go to, recommend me the right thing that I'm craving that I don't yet know that I'm craving. It's just a fun little idea. I mean, we'll see if it actually ends up panning out, but yeah, that's what I'm focusing on making. Now, based on that explanation, you might feel like that's a really simple idea, and it is. But that's the point. It's supposed to be simple, and it's supposed to help me learn the new technology that I'm interested in. If I feel like the app has some genuine value to it once I complete it, then I will think about how to publish it and maybe have other people use it. The next step is to decide what you'll use to make this idea. Is it going to be an Android app, an iOS app, a web app? It doesn't even have to be something front-end based either. But if you're new to starting projects, then I would just recommend something on the front end. To me, it's more tangible, I get more feedback on what I'm making physically, and it's just more satisfying. Now finally, distill down the core functionality of what the idea is and prioritize finishing that first. There is a lot of value to spending some time planning what you want to make. It's really tempting to start hacking away at the code right now, and if you're a complete beginner, that's fine. But if you have some background with programming, understanding what you are working towards will help you focus your efforts into learning the right things and actually completing tasks. So for example, with my app, there are so many fancy things that I can do. I can create a lot of fancy animations for how to input restaurants and how they look on screen. I can create this cool onboarding flow that will streamline how you put in your restaurants. And while it's tempting to focus on all those other aspects, the very first thing I wanna get nailed down is actually storing the restaurants we eat at and how we start predicting. And with that, those are the steps I like to follow when I start a new project.
Okay, so I've been coding for a few hours now. <sighs> it's taken a lot longer than I thought. I've literally just been following four or five tutorials and I've just been like cycling through them and making sure that I can actually run and build the project. It's actually taken me several hours just to get the data local database working properly. You know what? I just want to show that, yeah, it's taken me like four or five tutorials today just to get things up and running. Sometimes the beginning is slow, but I think it'll be necessary that I went through that growing pain. So yeah, after the whole day, this is what we're at. This is not super impressive by any means, but I got the database part working. Honestly, I'm at a point where the next day when I start working, I'm gonna have something to build off of. It's pretty cool that this is actually just purely Kotlin and Compose code that is working on this iPhone here. So honestly, this is really cool. <laughs>